What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft how to add on tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom item. This is the part one. I'll show you guys part two which involves weapons like axes and tools and stuff and swords and shields and things like that and ranged weapons. That'll be in another video but this one's just a basic item like this pattern from Tinker's Construct. Uh, simple like ores like you know diamond, sticks, just anything like that. If you plan on making just a basic item, this is the first part, so I thought I'd start with that one. Let you guys download the template if you want to make make some, play around with the files, do whatever it is you want. Uh, and then I'll update this part of this series on this one for items uh, next time. So uh, this one, in this template, you guys will get uh, the Tinker's Construct pattern. And the recipe is basically just this. I just left it what I had currently. Um, you could craft it, doesn't matter the recipe. It's a shapeless. I went over that and the blocks. Uh, but that is there. You do need experimental gameplay currently in the Minecraft we have now. Shouldn't need it in 1.15 when it updates. Uh, no, it is not in the creative menu. Only blocks are shown in the creative menu. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. So let me just go ahead and just save and quit. And then let's go take a look at some of the files over on the desktop. Here we go. Uh, so inside of the resource pack... Uh, I still have it on the blocks one. Don't worry, you guys will download this and it'll be the items one and everything. Uh, but the items, uh, we have pattern here. And it's the same as before, it's doing the identifiers, Tinker's Construct, pattern. The category, it really doesn't matter. You could keep it equipment, you could change it to whatever. But honestly, it doesn't even matter. Uh, the Minecraft icon, always put whatever your identifier is. That's what I prefer to put. Uh, or whatever you named it inside of your textures. That's what this should be. Uh, this has n like no purpose either. Uh, it used to in 1.13 render the offset so if it's miscellaneous it would be like a different when you're holding it and if you put it in equipment the swords would be held different. Uh, but currently I really haven't seen any difference in 1.14. I've tested it on a few swords and weapons and um, some tools and miscellaneous works just like all the other ones. But of course every update with Minecraft some stuff might switch up and you know you might need to switch it to equipment later on instead of miscellaneous. But that's totally up to you guys on that one. Let's move over. Uh, inside of the text, just like the block uh, before, it was a uh, tile. This one's just going to be item, and then the rest is going to be the exact same. Identifier, name, and whatever it is that the name of the item is. Textures, you would just have a textures folder. Then you'd have an items folder, and then the item that you made, which is pattern. And then we have the items texture JSON. This is defi de like defining where the texture is so basically it's just like the block one we had on the last video uh, this one's just going to be in the items folder and it's looking for pattern same as before if you guys haven't seen that video i recommend checking it out i'll go over a little bit more in detail if you want to add more to this i show you in that one as well let's go ahead and go to behavior real quick uh, okay so we have an items folder and this one's just the patterns so here's the patterns, and we're just going to do the identifier. It's just Tinker's Construct Pattern. Uh, and there's a whole bunch. Like I said, I gave you guys a website from before, which gave you into the bedrock.dev. Uh, and you can I'll have a link straight to the items folder in that as well, which, which will give you all the components and stuff. Uh, it is hand equipped true. Uh, stack by default false. If you want to do that, it's true. Uh, means it won't stack. And foil, you know, that just uh, makes for like the enchanted and stuff. Recipes, I went ahead and added a recipe, shapeless, just like before, inside of a crafting table. Also went over that, and in the link that will also be down there for bedrock.dev, you can look at all the crafting recipe shapes and stuff, if that's something you're interested in as well. But that is pretty much it for the video, guys. It was super quick. This one was super easy. It's just a one file kind of thing. The items are super easy. If like you want me to do the tools and the weapons and stuff, like swords and stuff, uh, I will do that in another video because I have to add in player adjacent um, and we start getting into animation controller and there's a lot more complicated stuff. I'm just trying to give you guys a simple piece tutorial first, get used to this one, uh, and then we'll get into the more advanced stuff in a little bit. But that's it for this video. If you want to download the template, like I said, it'll be in the description. Hopefully you guys have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Dacon Black Rose and I'm out.